The Lofrix product range was created through a long period of development, specifically to tackle the cost to industry of the effects of friction. It is estimated that friction consumes between 30 and 50% of all energy used. Friction is a funny thing. I, always, I actually always liken it to cholesterol because there's good friction and there's bad friction, like there's good cholesterol and there's bad cholesterol. Good friction is the friction between your car's tyres and the road, because if you didn't have any, the car wouldn't go. But bad friction is that which occurs in equipment between metal surfaces that rub together, that create heat, that create uh, extra energy usage, that create wear, that destroy components, that create noise, that creates a vibration. And all those things are either health and safety problem or they're uh, a cost problem to industry. So that's why Lofrix was set up to counteract all those things. And what Lofrix does, it can go into the system and it reduces heat in the system. It stops, it creates a barrier between moving metal parts. And that barrier itself creates a surface that can take the, the heat and the wear away. So it actually becomes an interface between moving parts. In a similar way to the development of a pharmaceutical, the Lofrix range of lubrication additives was created and developed over a 10-year period, prior to it going into what could be considered as clinical trials in real-world situations with a number of major companies. Now, with nearly 20 years of research and development, and as a market leader in the field, Lofrix felt they needed to take the analysis of the products a stage further by seeking independent evaluation in a laboratory situation in controlled conditions using expert analysts. They chose to engage with the University of Huddersfield's Centre for Efficiency and Performance Engineering. We looked around for what we thought would be a world-class diagnostic centre in one of the universities and when we trolled around a lot of them were based over in the northwest but we decided at the end of the day to come to Huddersfield. Now that's basically because of the re reputation the Diagnostic Engineering Centre has got as, as being a world, world class centre of excellence. So that's what we did and we came here and we then set a whole series of wear tests up to see whether we could actually under laboratory conditions create a uh, um, a situation where we can, in, in essence, replicate the benefits that LOFIPS have been seen to create in the field in a laboratory situation. The university has worked now for LOFIPS and its products for over three years, testing, evaluating, doing some independent trials. LOFIPS is a family of friction and wear reducing lubricant additives which have got some quite remarkable capabilities. Control tests at the university show that small admixtures of LOFIPS in conventional lubricants can extend time intervals before the onset of wear by many fold. Up to 10 times increase in component resistance to wear is commonly encountered. Furthermore, it's evident that the beneficial effects of low fricks are most pronounced under the harshest of wear conditions, such as extreme loading. Preliminary evidence also suggests, perhaps not surprisingly, that the power consumptions of machines using lubricants with small admixtures of low fricks are quite substantially reduced when compared to the same machines without such additions. Future research will probably focus on the optimization of the formulation of Lofrix so that it can be used in a wide range of engineering applications. A number of companies have successfully used the Lofrix product range with excellent results. One of these companies is Romilly Board Mill, who are manufacturers of paperboard and packaging in Stockport. We've been using Lofrix products now for about 20 years. Uh, we started with the high temperature additive uh, to get us out of a problem with the, the bearings on our drying system. But uh, since then we've uh, expanded it out and we now use the uh, waterproof grease, the high temperature grease and the additive throughout the, uh, the site. Uh, reason being it's, it's, it's helped us to uh, keep going, runnability, uh, profitability in the end which is what we're looking for and uh, it's, it's been a boon, it's, it's stopped breakdowns, shutdowns, and it kept us going. So uh, it's been a benefit to the company.